Que Buzz YouTube, Six Foot Hacks here. Half for y'all today, a GBA Season 9 recap video, which is me just kind of talking about uh, this GBA season. So if you guys do enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up button down below. Also, comment down below on what I say in this video because there are going to be uh, some things that I will be touching on that may interest you guys. I don't know. Just comment down below. Let me know. Hit that thumbs up button and sit back and relax. So first things first, definitely go check out our roster that we had for this GBA Season 9. As you can see here, this is the entire roster, all of the coaches, some familiar faces, a bunch of new faces. And speaking of the familiar faces, I was kind of upset this season to not get to play people like uh, my boy Tom Z and Cybertron VGC. Uh, Cybertron recently got added into the GBA, I think like two seasons ago, like maybe one or two seasons ago. Uh, but I was really looking forward to getting to play him. Unfortunately, though, I don't think he made playoffs or I think if he did, he got out round one. So I wasn't able to play him. And then me and Tom... We're not in the same division, much like me and Aaron, uh, Cybertron weren't in the same division, and I don't think Tom did make playoffs either, unfortunately, so wasn't able to get to play them. Also, Aster, uh, when I saw Aster made playoffs, a part of me was actually really excited because I was like, okay, yes, I get to play Aster again, and the first two games I played against Aster were pretty good. First one, uh, I beat him on an even playing field, I want to say. Second game, I did get a little bit lucky, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, speaking of luck, if you guys may have missed our finals, uh, of the GBA season nine here, then uh, you will not know that we actually lost the finals, unfortunately, due to a little bit of luck and certain circumstances that did occur. But uh, it is what it is. We were still able to make it to the finals, which is absolutely phenomenal as it is. And I want to thank every single one of you who had followed me from the beginning, halfway through the season, near the end of the season. You guys are freaking awesome. Just thank you so much for showing your support, coming out, leaving likes, leaving comments, just watching the video, sharing it if you did. Thank you so much. Hopefully we can return for uh, GBA and Sword and Shield, but we'll see how things go uh, from here. So yeah, I was a little bit upset to not get to play Aaron or Tom, but I did get to play two other OGs of the GBA, which were Lars, El Scizor, and Necro Stevo. And speaking of Necro Stevo, man, my match against Stevo was absolutely insane. That was probably, I want to say that, and besides the finals, besides the finals, I want to say that my match against Stevo uh, was probably like the best match I had throughout the uh, season of the GBA. Like the match I had against Randy in finals, that was easily a championship caliber fight back and forth, very, very narrow down to the wire ending. And it was just absolutely insane. A lot of people commented saying that it was an amazing, amazing battle and they loved it. So definitely check out the finals match if you haven't seen it just a really good battle in general and then go back to week seven where i played stevo because if certain things had not happened necro stevo easily would have been able to uh to squash me in that battle but that was a really good game i think i have all the teams here except for week 10 where i played tup and then week eight where i played uh goldie uh goldola dragon uh, I did, I beat Godot, but I lost to Tup. Uh, funny enough, though, I played Tup in the first round of playoffs, and I was able to beat him in playoffs, which is where it really counts. Like, when I played Tup in Week 10, I already knew that we were making playoffs, so I really wasn't too concerned about uh, winning that game, so I didn't mind losing. Plus, I got some valuable information in that first game, uh, which is why I actually ended up bringing Scarf Marshadow. And, bro, bro, speaking of Marshadow, oh my... I want to touch on Marshadow real quickly, bro. Marshadow is absolute. Okay, that's a, that's a meme set. I should probably put Week 9 versus Kyle memes. So, uh, ignore that. But freaking Marshadow is an absolute monster. I think the only sets I ran with Marshadow through the entire regular season were Choice Banded, Spooky Played, or Choice Scarf. I think that's literally the the only sets I ran in the regular season, and then for playoffs, that was the only time I really ran Life Orb. But in the regular season, Spooky Play was just absolutely insane because Ghost Stab is I, I want to say Ghost Stab is kind of broken, but when you factor in that none of Marshadow's stab is immune by anything, right? Yeah, like Fighting plus sh Shadow Shadow. Fighting plus ghost coverage absolutely hits everything 
which is insane because any dark type any normal type got absolutely destroyed by close combat and then from there i could just spectral thief them and then if it was late game because shadow sneak gets boosted by technician making a base 60 then you have the spooky plate uh boost factored in there it was an absolutely insane type of priority which if you saw all the sets literally every single week every single week except week nine where i brought a meme set i was able to easily run spectral thief close combat and a shadow sneak the final move was literally just whatever i wanted sorry if i said literally too much but the last move was anything i needed it to be really like i could have gone with no fourth move and spectral thief close combat and shadow seek would have been all i honestly needed so yeah i don't think mars shadow is is broken in an uber's format but i definitely think it's easy top three best mons in that type of format because of its dual stab and then if you're able to pair it up with something like let's say dark cry on my team i didn't expect dark cry on our squad to be anywhere near as good as i thought it would be but when it was paired up with marsh shadow dark cry and marsh shadow were basically able to overwhelm any type of fairy pokemon or anything that would initially be able to deal with them accordingly or marsh shadow beat what dealt with dark cry or dark cry beat what belt what dealt with marsh shadow and they were able to work in tangent very very amazingly so i found a new respect for dark cry in this gba season and paired up with marsh shadow man i think dark cry uh, was even more amazing also another pokemon i absolutely fell in love with this season was comfy comfy is actually a monster i only got to use comfy once before this season but i was definitely uh, very happy to use it and i think every other pokemon except for Ferrothorn, I had been able to already use and I already knew what they did. I was able to get just about everything I expected from them, except for Thunderous. Thunderous was a little bit underwhelming this season, I'm not gonna lie, but then again, uh, when I have things like Marsh Shadow, Z Garchomp, Mega Medicham, and Darkrai, just four insane hard hitting mons, then Thunderous may not be as effective as it typically would be, but Thunderous is still a pretty cool mon. Will I draft it again? Eh, maybe not. I was already very iffy on whether or not I wanted it this season, but it's not that big of a deal, so it's fine. And uh, yeah, ultimately, I really did like my roster this season, so I just kind of want to talk about the roster, talk about some certain mons. And the last thing I kind of want to touch on this season is just the GBA season itself. Uh, I feel like it's not just me, but I feel like fans also kind of feel like this, where honestly, this GBA season was not really like a regular gba season like i don't want to get into the details and the nitty gritty but i definitely feel like this season of the gba or maybe just at this point in the gba's history it's kind of just a shell of what it used to be now part of me really hopes that when sword and shield comes out that things will get better for the gba but this season was definitely not like any other season before then like i think at this point we can kind of agree that the gba i don't want to say has become stagnant but just something is not uh what it what it is basically like it's something's changed things have happened and it's just it's nowhere near what it used to be back in its early seasons and these later seasons have been pretty and eh, they've been okay i guess and i don't want to blame the fact that now there's like 500 leagues going on in the the poketubing community because obviously gba was the first ever draft league it was here from the very beginning i'm hoping it'll be here until the very end but as of lately it's just kind of been a shadow of what it really used to be i don't really know what it is i don't really want to again i don't want to get into like the nitty gritty of everything but uh, let me know what you guys think that's why i wanted you guys to kind of just wait to comment about this video and just let me know what you guys think about it ultimately i had a people i think i think it was my finals team builder i asked you guys what you thought about the season and some of y'all said it was pretty meh it was pretty it, it was okay like it wasn't anything spectacular or amazing or anything like that and i can kind of see why but uh, for those of you who are now just seeing this, then let me know what you think 
about the GBA? Do you think that it could go back to its glory days once Sword and Shield comes out? Another thing about it too could be the fact that this is the final season before Gen 8 starts. At this point, draft leagues are already kind of doing mediocre and that's just because everybody's excited and ready for Gen 8 to come out. Everybody's ready to use a new Pokemon, try the new Pokemon in battles, in leagues, and all that stuff. So that could definitely be a big factor of it, and I definitely feel like it is a factor of it. Is it the main factor? Probably not, but it's definitely a factor nonetheless. Uh, regardless though, I had a blast this GBA season. Hopefully we can come back for Season 10. And by then, we will be able to actually win the championship. But if we don't, hopefully it'll be another really, really good run to the finals. And definitely check out all the coaches, guys. Check out our playlist of the GBA season for the Durham Dredagons, which I'll link to that should be in the description and maybe at the end of the video as well. And I think with that being said, I will see you all tomorrow, most likely, because I'm definitely going to try and get up another video on Wednesday. So... Thank you all for watching. Later, everybody.